A highly destructive beetle called the emerald ash borer wreaked havoc on the Miami Valley's landscape over the last few years. So we wanted to know if this frigid winter weather had an effect on the invasive pests. Our Kemley May takes a closer look. The fear of the ash borer is still out. Doug Wickline's garden business had to adjust when the emerald ash borer hit the Miami Valley. We were growing probably about 70% of our nursery stock was an ash tree. He stopped selling the tree a year after the damage started, but after this icy winter, the future is changing for the insect's population. It may end up with about 30 to 40 percent mortality of the emerald ash borer within the trees. Casey Burdick has followed the bug's devastation since it hit Ohio in 2003. In the last year or two, it's been much more noticeable around the Dayton area. So when you're driving up and down 75, we're seeing a lot more dead trees. Burdick says the local landscape is about to change even more. The big stout branches on them. Extreme temperatures may be killing off 40 percent of the emerald ash borer, but ash trees, even slightly damaged by the bugs before before winter won't survive to spring. Basically everyone in Ohio is affected by this. If you have yard trees that happen to be ash, you have to deal with the fact that these trees are going to be starting to die or lose limbs. Nursery owners, you know, they haven't been able to grow ash trees for a while just because they can't sell them. Back at the garden center. Ash used to be. It was probably one of my favorite trees. Doug Wickline says the fear of losing profit because of the emerald ash borer is still too great to put the tree back on the market. Until that fear is out, I need to have a product that people are going to trust. In Xenia, Kelly May, Fox 45 News. Now the Division of Forestry says if you have ash trees and you don't see them leaf by mid-May, it's probably time to call in an arborist to get rid of it. Wickline's garden center, by the way, says they will have plenty of maple and locust trees to replace them.